Hi there, today we're making a geodesic ornament using old Christmas cards. First start off with some cardstock paper, cut out a circle. Now I'm using a three inch diameter circle which is way too big for a Christmas tree ornament but it is good for demonstration purposes. Cut out the circle, fold it in half, and then fold it into thirds. Take your time doing this and make sure you crease the paper very well. So in half and then in thirds. And when you open the circle up, you are going to have something that looks like a wheel with six spokes. Put it back into the hole that you cut out and that's going to be a template for you. Then you're going to mark off every other spoke. So you mark one, skip one, mark one, skip one, and mark one. So you end up with three marks on your paper. Now just to give you an idea of what you're going to do is I'm just going to join up those lines with a, with a pen so you can see that it actually forms a triangle that has even sides. Equilateral I think that what they're called if I remember from geometry in school. So there we go we've marked off three places. Now your Christmas cards. I save all the Christmas cards I get so I had a gigantic stack of them so what I did is I went through them and pulled out all the ones with similar color themes. In this particular case, I picked blue. So I picked all the cards that had predominantly blue in them. And then you're simply gonna cut out 20 circles. And if there's a little detail that you like, put it right dead center, so that if you wanna see it on the ornament. The best thing to use for this would be a hole punch. Probably anywhere between one and a half and two inches would be perfect size for an ornament. I had a cutter that I was using, but a hole punch would be, would, be the, would be the ideal thing. So there's all 20 of them with similar color themes, and I'm going to put those aside. Now take the template you made, put the circle back in, take a straight edge, and then fold up at the spot where the two marks meet, as you can see here. I make a second one with green, you'll see after this. And I find the best thing to do is put the straight edge down, take something like a scoring tool or the back end of a pair of scissors and score the paper, it'll fold better. But ultimately this is all you have to do is just, you're gonna fold up the circle in three places using those little marks as a guide. Now to put them together, you're gonna to take five for the top of the ornament and you're gonna glue the flaps together. And you're gonna make sure the points of the triangles are facing in the same direction. So it makes a circle and you need five of them, but do not glue the final set of flaps quite yet. And you're going, do, you're going to do five for the top and five for the bottom of the ornament. The center part of the ornament is a little bit different. The center part, you're going to glue together 10 segments by gluing flaps together, but you're going to want the base of one triangle touching the point of one triangle. Here, all the points are touching. But for this one, we want a point up and then a base up and continue along so that you get a straight line. As you can see, the little baby penguin as the point that's up, the next one, the base is at the top, and then a point and a base and so on. And it'll actually make a straight line. And just continue gluing the pieces till you have all 10 of them glued together. And it doesn't make much of a difference what kind of glue you use. I'm just using stick glue. Any quick drying craft glue or clear drying craft will be perfect for this. So there are all the pieces you need for your ornament. Now to hang your ornament, you need some ribbon. I'm just using just ribbon that you use to tie packages. Take a loop of it, put the ends together, and tie a knot. Just like that. Now take one of the five ornament pieces. You can see where they're going to glue together. That'll be the bottom. Put the knot right there. And then you're going to glue the final two flaps together. And as you can see, the knot is on the outside and that way you'll be able to hang it. Now for the center piece, glue the two flaps together to make a circle. And then pass the ribbon through. And then you're going to put glue on all the bottom flaps and then glue them to the middle piece.
quite simple. And that's all that's left to do is to put on the top part, making sure you put the ribbon through and then glue the flaps together. And that's all there is to it. That's your, there's your completed ornament. Like I mentioned, this one's big. This one's a big one um, with a three inch diameter. It's not something you'd want to put on a tree unless you had a really big tree, but it is something you can hang in your house as a decoration. And the bottom ribbon, ribbon that's sticking out at the bottom, I think would be really cute if you attach some beads to it and you had some beads dangling or maybe a tassel dangling from the bottom. I think that would be really cute. And when you turn it, you can see all the little details of the cards that you selected. So there's a three inch diameter circle. I ended up hanging it in my, my living room over top of my computer desk. So there it is. Now this is the green one that I made uh, using two inch circles. And it's a, a, a lot better size. I think it's a perfect ornament size. I think anything between an inch and a half and two inches would be perfect size ornament for a tree. And I've selected a bunch of green cards for this particular one. And the smaller you make, the circles, of course, the fewer cards you're going to need. And there it is hanging on my tree. <laughs>